Hi, my name is David Langton, Technical Product Manager for Matillion ETL for Redshift. Today we're going to look at iteration. I'll use a few different iteration examples to demonstrate how you can repeat the same work over and over but with different parameter values each time. The easiest way to see that is to just get started. Okay, so I think the best way to show this is just with a few simple examples. We've got a component here that's going to create as a fact table. Uh, it's not supposed to be realistic, hence it's called fact table and just has a handful of columns in there. But it is something that will run and will create a table. There you go. So what we really want is to implement the uh, time series tables as part of the Amazon Redshift documentation. And they suggest that for very large fact tables, it can be advantageous to split them uh, into multiple smaller tables and then union them all together when you query them. So instead of one fact table, uh, let's create a whole load of them. So I'm going to use a loop iterator for that, which is just going to repeat the same thing a number of times. And all we need to do is pick an existing variable. I've already created one called year. And then if we just set the starting value and ending value, that's ready to go. That would run, but currently it would overwrite the same fact table lots of different times. So we want to make reference to that parameter, that variable we're iterating. And now it'll go away and create a whole load of tables for us. So let's try something a little bit different. Here we've got an RDS load. We may need to stage a whole load of tables from the same RDS database. So what we can do for that is use a fixed iterator You'll see how that's different to the loop iterator in a minute. We still need some uh, variables. Now what's going to change on each iteration is that I'm going to load a different target table from a different query. And they're the only two things that are going to change each time. So let me just grab that query. Now the iterations on the fixed iterator come from this grid of data. So I've just added one iteration for now, and then we can finish configuring this and test it. There's my target table. And query. Okay, so now we can just add more iteration values And that does both tables. Now you'll notice that it completely finished the first table before it tried the second one. There is a mode, if you know that these iterations can't clash with each other, where it will do several iterations concurrently. This is an option on all the iterators. However, now I've switched it to concurrent, it thinks that my variables to iterate aren't valid. And that's because variables used in parallel need to be isolated from one another. And the way you do that is just to change the scope of the variable from global to local. So there's my target table. There's my query. And now that's happy again. And what we should see this time is both of those loads ongoing simultaneously. Now, the table iterator conceptually works exactly the same way as the fixed iterator, except instead of the iteration values coming from a, a grid of data that you manually key in, they can actually come from a table. Uh, that's not 
uh, to iterate millions of values, but if you've got a small control table with a few dozen things that you'd like to repeat, that is perfect for that. So I'm not going to go into that anymore. It is also worth saying that you don't have to just have one iterator. There's nothing to stop me here adding another level. Now let's call this one quarter. And there are my four quarters. And that's just like a nested loop. So for every quarter and every year, create a new table. And let's just add the quarter on the end. And you'll see that for quarter one, it's gone away and created all the tables per year. before it then moves on to quarter two. Okay, great. Hopefully that'll save you some cutting and pasting in the future. For more information, go to matillion.com or start a free trial on the AWS Marketplace today.